All right, hey guys. Um, this is gonna be a two-part video. Um, this is my first unboxing that I've ever done. Um, I've, I've done a lot of different things to the truck, but I usually am, have done them ahead of time or um, was too anxious to get it in and then didn't, didn't do uh, an unboxing or an install video. So I'm excited. Today I have the um, Trigger 4 Plus controller. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this advertised or you've ever seen this before, um, but I'm really excited to give it a try. Uh, I also have the little mounting plate here, which I'll explain, I'll show um, in a second. Uh, in my Forerunner that I had before this Tacoma, I had the, um, the Switch Pro a 9100, I believe it was, and the thing was absolutely awesome. Um, I had a light bar on my Prinzu rack, I had a light bar in my bumper, I had ditch lights, and I had Baja Designs fog lights. I had a lot of different things that I was controlling at the time. Um, I had a little bit of extra money lying around, so I went with that. Um, it was awesome. It, it was unbelievable. Uh, wiring was a little bit trickier. Uh, I did have a friend help me with the wiring. Um, with this truck right now, I just am at a place where I just kind of need a, a simpler solution. I've said in other videos, I'm not great with wiring. This uh, seems like it's going to be the easiest thing, easiest way for me to go. Um, this is all uh, just hooked under the hood and then it's ran uh, wirelessly to a remote uh, or to your phone inside the cab. So no running of the wires through the firewall and things like that. This is the first time I've opened the box, so we're gonna kinda do this together. Uh, so we're gonna, let's see here. We're gonna open up the box and see what we have inside. Uh, some manual and just a couple wiring. Oh, and the uh, button labels. So you can label the buttons, a couple different things. That's pretty cool. Um, here is the actual specific controller. So this here is the controller. So there are little toggle switches. Very nice kind of on and off toggle switches. This um, can go anywhere. So this is wireless. You can take this outside of the vehicle. You want to take it uh, into your rooftop, rooftop tent to turn on a light. You know, at night you hear a noise or something. I don't know. Um, and this should, uh, it doesn't yet. Maybe, I, maybe I'm missing something, but this should um, magnetize directly to the mounting plate. And then I'll, I'll show you in my truck where I think I'm gonna put this. I'm not positive yet, but oh, uh, maybe those are the magnets in there. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. Take this out. It comes with four uh, extra cables so you've got the ability to to add those accessories if you need to uh, without buying additional wiring harnesses um, and then it's got the specific unit Let's see if I can get it out of here this is the unit that is going to go under the hood so basically it's got four different spots um, each one is fused there are two 30 amp and two 10 amp fuses and it's got these little antennas here um, to help with the frequency of the remote. Uh, in this lead, uh, it's got a black, red, and a yellow, um, which I'll talk about once I get underneath uh, the hood as well. Um, I think that I'm gonna mount this on top of the fuse box. I honestly think I'm gonna use some Velcro and some double-sided tape to start with. Uh, I know that's not a permanent solution, but I don't feel like drilling into the top of that uh, right now. I, I might come up with a better solution or a more permanent solution. Um, again, I'm just trying this product out. It wasn't very expensive. I ordered directly from their website. Um, the unboxing, I mean, it's all really pretty simple. Um, I plan on cutting these leads way down. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna use one switch for my marker lights, because right now they're just always on and they're on with uh, headlights and I'd like the, abil the ability to be able to turn those on and off. 
Um, the second switch I think I will use for my diode dynamics fogs. Um, right now they're on the dial, the hand dial, and I would like to be able to control those with this. Um, that gives me two more spots. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna go with my lighting. I've, I've thought about using a diode dynamics hidden light bar um, behind the grill. Uh, that might be the next thing and that would give me an opportunity to, to have that switched as well. Um, so that's the unboxing. Pretty straightforward stuff. Again, it's the Trigger 4 Plus. Um, this is the unit that goes underneath the hood. Little wireless controller. Comes with a whole bunch of different labels for the switches and things like that. And then also comes with these four extra harnesses uh, to use as you, as you need. I will uh, be back with part two. Um, again, don't be afraid to subscribe or hit the like button. Uh, we're going to have this install of the Trigger 4 Plus coming up real All right. soon. Finally had a second to get the Trigger 4 installed. Uh, earlier I kind of did an unboxing and showed you what was all included in the box. What I want to do now is take you under the hood and show you how I got it set was up. I used some double-sided tape and used some Velcro and I put it right here on the top of the fuse box. I didn't want to drill into the fuse box so all I did was some double-sided tape. It's on there pretty good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do in the near future is really wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol to make sure it's really clean uh, and then uh, re-adhere that trigger four in there. Uh, I only have two things in so far. Uh, I have wired my marker lights to, to use the switch and I've also put my diode dynamics fog lights uh, to be switched so I didn't have to control them with the uh, lights or they didn't have to be on only with the headlights. I could control them with this. Uh, I have plans for a light bar, a hidden light bar, uh, which I'll use another one of the channels. Um, really super slick. It comes with the leads already. If I can grab one here. Oh, that one's already connected. Already um, set to go. Uh, I purchased a diode dynamics uh, extension harness that went right from the fog lights. Um, I did have to do some splicing into these harnesses. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I did run the wire directly to the battery. People say that that's not a great idea. If you leave a light on, it will drain your battery. Uh, I'm pretty good about turning that stuff off. So I am okay with that, at least for right now. Um, pretty handy dandy little, uh, little antennas here to get good signal with the remote. Um, it does have a really nice Wi-Fi app that you can use your phone. I've not played around with that yet, um, but I, I plan to in the future. Uh, still kind of trying to get some of the wiring straightened out. Um, both the harnesses were really long, so I need to, to cut those back. I just wanted to make sure I got it all hooked up and it was working properly before I cleaned all that up. Uh, I'm not sure when I would ever use it, but it is kind of neat. You can turn them on uh, right from the control box if you were under the hood um, and you wanted to try them. So like I said, I've got those two in there. Um, you can control them right from here. Car's not on, it's got power from the battery. Um, kind of pretty difficult to see in the daylight, but um, with the little controller, uh, it is wireless. Vehicle's not on. Uh, I can turn on the front marker lights on and off, and I can turn on the front fog lights on and off, all wireless, wirelessly, uh, right from the controller. Um, kind of neat. Uh, I don't like the marker lights to be on all the time, um, and I definitely don't want my fog lights on all the time, but I like having the ability to control that. Um, I hope to put uh, the hidden light bar right in that spot. Diode Dynamics makes one. I'm a big fan of their products, so um, I potentially will go that route uh, down the road. Um, again, this was my review and install of the Trigger 4 wireless controller. Uh, I purchased right from Trigger um, Wireless right online. Uh, they did have it on Amazon, uh, but I did go right through them. They make a six switch as well. Same exact thing. It just has two more switches, two more spots for accessories. I just don't think with this truck that I'm going to need to go to six. So four will do for me. Um, all wireless, really kind of sweet. The controller is all really well uh, built. Everything with install was really easy. 
I'll uh, report back with how uh, it holds up. Um, but I, I really have no concerns. I think it's gonna be a great, great product. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, after a couple weeks of use, I'll have a little bit better knowledge. I can help you out if you have any questions. Um, and hit that subscribe button and that like button to get notified for some more videos coming up soon. I will give you a little bit of a hint for the next project. It's going to be something up there. We got something coming this week. I'll get a video together soon. Thanks, guys.